A video of an interview of a doctor making shocking claims about the COVID-19 vaccines currently under development is being shared widely on social media platforms. The four-minute clip of a 37-minute long interview features Dr. Christian Northrup, an obstetrician gynecologist who has earlier featured as a health expert on the Oprah show. In this video, we look at the five main claims Dr. Northrup is seen making and fact-check each of these. The first claim is that the upcoming COVID-19 vaccine will alter human DNA and that it is set to control our movements. But this is what health experts say about how the vaccine will work. mRNA vaccines work by introducing a messenger RNA molecule into your body, which causes cells to produce a protein that resembles one of the viral proteins that make up SARS-CoV-2. The immune cells then recognize the viral protein and generate an immune response against it, primarily by generating antibodies that recognize the viral protein. The World Health Organization has also clarified this on its website and added that the working principle of vaccination is to stimulate the immune system with an infectious agent or components of an infectious agent modified in such a manner that no harm or disease is caused, but ensuring that when the host is confronted with that infectious agent, the immune system can adequately neutralize it before it causes any ill effect. The second claim is that toxic metals used in the vaccine will create antennae in the human body that will be detected by 5G technology. While there have been several conspiracy theories about 5G technology, experts have clarified several times that 5G is a mobile network technology and that there is no scientific evidence that phone signals can either transmit or reduce our defences to COVID-19. The third claim is that the vaccine will introduce non-human DNA into our bodies and that this will turn humans into chimera that have some animal traits. The origin of chimera is in Greek mythology, which refers to a single organism composed of cells with more than one distinct DNA. Again, there is no evidence to this claim. The fourth claim is that the vaccine will contain nanoparticles that will act as antennae and collect biometric data that will be traded for cryptocurrency. Dr. Northrup also accused the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation of using the vaccine as a strategy to collect people's biometric data for their own profits. Microsoft and Bill Gates have filed a patent for a system that rewards physical activity with cryptocurrency, but there is no mention of implanted microchips or nanoparticles that will collect biometric data. The patent application has not yet been granted either. The fifth claim is that the patented dye, luciferase, produced by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, will help countries to check on who has been vaccinated. In 2019, MIT announced that it has developed a method to store patient data through a dye that is invisible to the naked eye that is delivered under the skin through a micro needle at the same time as the vaccine. This was developed to devise a method for recording vaccination information in a way that does not require a centralized database or other infrastructure specific to the use of the MMR vaccine. But as it is not intended for monitoring purposes, this claim is misleading. Further research tells us that both Dr. Northrup and the interviewer Polly Tome are members of the anti-vaccination community. The entire interview has been removed from YouTube for violating its terms of service. But clips like this one are still in circulation on social media. As Dr. Christian Northrup's claims about COVID-19 vaccines are not backed by substantial scientific evidence, posts sharing these videos as containing the truth are fake. But if Dr. Northrup really puts her mind to it, she can still turn this whole thing around. What I mean is that since her ideas contain elements of science fiction, mythology and conspiracy theory, she should turn her attention to writing fiction that can entertain people instead of scaring them with wild theories in these uncertain times. When you come across a piece of news that seems too ridiculous to be true, don't leave things to doubt. Run searches on Google and Yandex and weigh out the true and false of the situation for yourself by looking at the facts. But first of all, before you hit that forward button, pause.